Hey everybody, this is Jacob Ahan from Marketing, and today I'm going to talk to you about the AdWords query language. If you've been following along over the past few months, we've talked a lot about scripts. You know, how to make bid changes, how to pull information from search query reports. But one of the things we haven't talked about is the AdWords query language. And this is important because one of the requests I get most is how can I get certain pieces of data, such as keywords with low quality scores or ads that have been disapproved. Well, that's where the AdWords query language comes in. What this is, is it's a language based on SQL, which may be familiar to you if you've ever used databases or know someone who has, and it allows you to access the AdWords API reports. If you haven't seen them before, I'm going to pull up a reference sheet right here. You can just see all the list of different reports you can pull through the API that are now accessible to you through scripts. The one we're going to be making use of today it's called the Keyword Performance Report because we're going to look for keywords with low quality scores and then put them in a spreadsheet so we know which keywords we have issues with. So one of the first things I want to do is I'm going to need a spreadsheet to put things into. Of course you can use the logger but it's hard to store and it's hard to access at a later point. It's not as convenient. So we're going to spreadsheet, call the app, create, and we're going to title it low quality score. One little tip for you guys if you're new, and even I forget these sometimes, just go in, and there's these tips in here. Go into your additional services, spreadsheet app. In this example, if I didn't know how to create a spreadsheet, here's an example right here that I can copy and paste directly into my scripting use. So we're going to hide those examples now. Now, this is where the AdWords query language comes in. We're going to start with calling a report, a variable report, go in, now here's where I select the data I want to pull. I'm going to select my campaign name, my ad group name, my keyword text, and my quality score. Now you're going to ask, where do I get these? Well, if you go down to the next line, from the keyword performance report. And one thing if you're questioning, these plus right here, kind of like Excel when you're concatenating strings, this is all read by the program as one long value but we're breaking up into smaller pieces and then just tagging it together with these plus signs. So we're pulling it from the keyword performance report, but what exactly is in that? Well, I can go back to my API reference, scroll down, keyword performance, I have the name right there, and I have all the different columns in there. As you can see, I have cost, conversion value, cost per conversion, all the stats you're going to find that can be associated with a keyword. And what I did here was I looked and I found the ones I needed that will help me identify the keyword and where it's located, as well as the quality score. Now, I go to the next line, and where, you can think of the, this as your filter, where my quality score is less than 5 and my impressions are greater than 0. There's a few ways you could do this. You could also do it if you want to see what keywords are enabled. You could have status equals enabled. I just did impressions greater than zero for this example because I'm only interested in the keywords that have shown recently. Next, kind of like any other script, you gotta declare a date range. So right here, we're gonna say over the last seven days. Now this is actually a really cool, cool tool right here. If you see right here, I have it commented out, my rows. Before, if you wanted to output it, the report was made up of a bunch of objects called rows. So when I wanted to put them on the spreadsheet, I would have to iterate through each row and then put those contents into the spreadsheet. Thankfully, the Google team is giving you a real quick shortcut here. If you see right here, my report, which I have up here, which contains all this information that I selected, export to sheet, and then I put it on the active sheet of the spreadsheet I created earlier in the script. And what this does is it takes all the information and drops it into that spreadsheet. You don't have to do anything besides that. And then just one extra little line right here from the Google Help material, logger log, report is available, and then gets the URL. So let's run it and see what happens. Oh, well, and it's going. Okay, and now it's finished. Now, if I want to view the details, Report is available, and then that gives me the location. And it's always going to go in the Google Drive 
of the current year account of the current account you're logged into. So let's take a quick look at that. Pull an example up right here. And look, it formatted everything for me. So I have my campaign name, my ad group name, my keyword, and my quality score. And it automatically puts it all in, sorts it as needed. And now I know where all my low quality score keywords are. So where do you go from here? If you want to try something else, you can go back to those report types in here. And you can look in. You can see there's account prevents, account reach, things related to your campaigns. You can go through more keywords, go by URL destination URL or by your placements and all these reports pretty much follow the same format so you can imagine for an example let's go back to edit the script if I wanted to do something else related to that maybe I want to do something related to my placements all I would do is I would need to think of what I want well one of the things I want is the campaign the ad group and the placement so all I would do is instead of having the keyword text, I could put something like placement URL, and then maybe I want to look at the cost. And then I'll go in here. I don't want to pull for my keyword performance report because I'm interested in the placements. So I could go to, I don't want to pull my manage. I'll go to my automatic placements performance. So I change that to automatic placements performance where cost is greater than my CPA and then you can imagine I could go in and say and conversions are equal to zero and that would give me all of my placements which are greater than my CPA goal but don't have any conversions yet as you can see there's a lot of different data you can pull and even going back here I don't think I mentioned this earlier but you can even pull things like your age group performance and your geolocations. So you can think of times where you can pull the data that would help you make your bid modifiers just a little bit easier to calculate. So go ahead and play around with this. The one nice thing is unlike some of the scripts that make changes to your account, you can't break anything with this. So the worst that happens is you're going to get an error telling you that you need to replace some of your field names that they aren't working. So using this template that we've kind of gone over, you're pretty free to pull whatever data you want. As always, if you have any questions or just want to mention something you've been working on or something cool that you found, feel free to leave a comment. Because if you have a question, maybe I or another reader will be able to help you out. Or it's always nice just to share some of your successes. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I will talk to you guys next time. Take care.